Hey, what's up? This is Rodney, and I'm here just to basically give my opinion over the whole Lamar Odom incident that happened uh, in Las Vegas. Um, he basically was found, I believe, unconscious um, with drugs in his system at some brothel in Las Vegas. Um, anyways, long story short, um, Master P was coming out of a grocery store, I believe, a few days ago, and uh, I don't know what media outlet it was. Some media outlet stopped him and asked him a few questions about the whole Lamar um, situation. A situation, and um, he basically, in the in a nutshell, he called Kobe Bryant uh, in the Kardashians fake, and um, basically said no one tried to help him, help Lamar. Um, Kobe Bryant caught wind of what um, Lamar, I mean, what uh, Master P said, and he basically sent out a tweet. I believe the tweet wasn't mean or nasty. He basically said, in a nutshell, that. People were being insensitive in a sensitive time. Now, I'm not going to read this whole motherfucking letter to y'all because it's long as fuck, but I'm, I'm just going to read like the first half that Master P wrote because um, after he found out what Kobe Bryant said, he came back with a reply. He says, if you're real with someone, you keep it real through the good and the bad times. I understand firsthand from dealing with my own brother that that was living recklessly. I had to show him tough love, but I never cut him off because we're blood. Kobe Bryant and Lamar not blood. I'm not pointing the finger at anyone. Lamar's unfortunate situation is a result of his own decisions and actions. I can relate to D.L. Hughley's statement on dealing with family members with addictions. It's draining. I'm not a phony. I can admit that I stopped dealing with Lamar years ago for those same reasons. Even though I've known Lamar for over 15 years, it wasn't like we were the best of friends. I tried to mentor him and give him advice, but he is a grown man and made his own decisions. You can't help anyone that don't want any help, and I get that. That's life. That's So that's why I stopped dealing with Lamar. It's not like we're blood-related where, where I would have put up with his reckless behavior. I'm sure Lamar has many people in his life, such as family members, friends, colleagues, teammates, significant others who have stopped dealing with him, but I'm just not afraid to openly admit it due to his unfortunate medical situation. I can also admit that me and my family are far from perfect. We have situations we're dealing with. Girl, he, put a, he said a whole bunch of shit, y'all. Basically, it's how Lamar complained about how everybody turned their backs on him, even his NBA buddies. Um, Kobe Bryant is one of the greatest, greatest players in the world. Um, that, that he would have a conversation with Kobe and the Kardashians just to basically discuss what he said. Girl, that's fake and phony right there. That is fake and phony. For you to sit here and say that it's okay for you to stop dealing with Lamar Odom because of Lamar Odom's situation, but nobody else can, is bullshit. The same way you have your own family and your own thing going on, motherfucker Kobe got his own bitch. Kobe can't even probably text or pick up the phone without Vanessa. Do you hear me? Bitch, Vanessa, bitch Kobe trying to make sure his money stay in, stay in his account. Because y'all know if Kobe, if Vanessa divorced Kobe, the bitch probably going to get half or damn near everything. So, bitch, Kobe, Vanessa got Kobe by the motherfucking strings right now. So, if that bitch say, you not texting nobody, bitch, you not texting nobody. Now, I'm going to say this much. In a nutshell, my uncle is on drugs. And a few months ago, we had a family reunion. And um, I was talking to my mom, and I was just basically telling her that for as long as I've been living, I don't remember anything about my uncle except him being on drugs. Um, whether it was stealing from my grandmother, him stealing our Nintendo system. Girl, ain't that throwback Nintendo? Nintendo system, I remember as a child. Um, I remember, like, my, I remember one night my mama was running through the back, because all of our family lived on the same block, country. And I just remember one time my mama was just like ran, ran through the backyard. It was real late at night. I remember me waking up. And my uncle was on the floor. My uncle was outside on the concrete. And I remember the cops being there. That's all I remember. But of course, now it had to do with drugs. Um, but with that being said, if my uncle... I don't deal with my uncle at all. When we were going home for, for the family reunion, family reunion, we always stayed at my grandmother's house. And I was just basically saying that if he was going to be there, then I, well, I was telling my sister. If he's going to be there, then bitch, I'm not going. 
Bitch, I'm not going to wake up one morning and bitch, my wallet is gone or a pair of my shoes gone and three pairs of my drawers. Like, no. Bitch, we look outside the car gone. Like, I'm not dealing with that. Y'all can deal with that shit. But, bitch, I'm going to be in Houston watching HGTV and eating a bowl of ice cream. Just bring me back a plate. Like, I'm not dealing... I'm not dealing with that. And then come to find out he was actually in jail at the time, so it really didn't matter. Um, but at the end of the day, if my uncle was to be rushed to the hospital, um, I will go. And it may not necessarily be for him. I'm just going to be honest with you. It may not necessarily be for him, but because I know my grandmother is there, and my mom is going to be there, and my other uncle is going to be there, then I'm not going to like just leave my family like, up there, and me just sit here like, oh, ain't shit going on. You know what I'm saying? I don't deal with my uncle, but at the end of the day, I don't want the motherfucker to die either. Not right now. Like, damn. So he also, but so anyways, Master P also basically went on to say that um, he's not phony, and you know, um, so that's the re one of the reasons why he's not check going to see Lamar because he's not trying to do this for publicity. Girl, you lying. You did like a damn a three minute interview or four minute interview with some media outlet. I think it was TMZ and now you open now you writing an open letter. If that's not seeking pu publicity, then what the fuck is? You think just because you're not going to the hospital and just because people are not taking pictures of you that you're not that that's not pu uh, publicity? You did an interview and you wrote a letter. What the fuck? What 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 planet do you live on? I don't understand it. I really don't understand it. For you to sit here and say what Kobe or what other people should have been doing for a grown ass man is bullshit. Let me just say just, let me just say something. The older I get, the less sympathy and empathy I have for pe have for grown people who don't try to fix their situation. You could have been molested as a child, raped as a child, thrown in a trash can. Caught HIV when you were younger. Bitch had 15 STDs. Got your ass beat every day. But there has to, there has to come some point in your life, especially as a grown-ass adult who's like 35. Like, I think Lamar's like 35. You cannot be 35 and 40 and people are still pointing the fingers at other people. Whatever you went through when you were younger, bitch, you need to get some help. Like... There's no excuse for it. Yeah, when you're 16, 17, 18, you just don't know what to do. But when you're hitting 35 and 30, and you need to start, okay, I need to get my shit together. Because this shit is eating me alive. Bitch, it's crack ass out here right now. Who's trying to get us together on a dime and a prayer? Bitch, Lamar Odom is rich as fuck. He has a finance center resources to get help if he needed it. And this is this is what happens when you don't get the help that you need. You end up in the motherfucking hospital with motherfuckers pumping your stomach. But no, instead of people putting the blame where it belongs, which is Lamar Odom, everybody wants to point, the, put, point fingers at Kobe Bryant and Khloe Kardashian and Kris Jenner and all this. First of all, to be honest, I've never seen the Kardashians bash Lamar Odom. I have never seen it. They would dance around the subject of why Khloe and Lamar got a divorce, but they never once said that motherfucker got a divorce because he was on drugs. Now, just because Kris Jenner or Kim Kardashian did not want Chloe to be with Lamar does not mean they don't care about Lamar. Bitch, I would want the same thing for my family member too. Bitch, if my sister was dating a crackhead, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell my sister straight up, bitch, you need to leave that motherfucker alone. Girl, you are too young to be dealing with this shit. Now, if my sister husband, who was a crackhead, ended up in the hospital. When I go to the hospital, yes. It may not necessarily be for the crackhead, but bitch, it's for my sister. Bitch, my sister probably up there with no motherfucking face on. Her wig probably sitting on the motherfucking chair. She probably got her hair pulled back in the ponytail. Probably braids going down the back of her head knowing my sister. This bitch probably got on one thong cylinder and one tennis shoe. Bitch with a wife beater and no, with a wife beater and no bra. With some boyfriend jeans on. Girl, my sister probably will be going through. So, yes, I'm going up there to check on my sister and see how she's doing. And, of course, you know, even though she married to a crackhead, I don't want the motherfucker to die. 
So even though, even if the Kardashians are up there at the hospital, that does not mean that they're being phony and fake. That just means they care about their fucking sister and they probably care about Lamar Odom. Again, just because they didn't want Chloe to be with Lamar does not mean they don't care about Lamar. Lamar is a crackhead, bitch. You mean to tell me somebody who's in their 20s is supposed to stop their fucking life to try to make sure that a crackhead gets by? No, 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 ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. And neither should Chloe or anybody else out there. At the end of the day, bitch, we all grown. We have to start taking responsibilities for our own actions and stop pointing the finger at other people on why the reason on the reasons why we make the decisions that we make and why we continue to do the shit that we do. Lamar Odom is a grown, grown, grown ass man. It's sad what he's going through. He has two kids. This I think he probably has more than two kids. But I think he has two kids. I know he has two. He has a wife. They're separated, but from what I understand, they're still legally married. You know, he has a... Lamar Odom is old, but he's young. Like, he's only 35. He's old enough to know better. And he's old enough to do better. Because he has the finances and the resources. This is nobody's fault but, Lamar's, but Lamar Odom's. He can stop this if he wants to. Nobody else can stop this. And Master P, for you to sit here and say, for you to sit here and say that it's okay for you to cut this man off, and again, nobody else can, it's bullshit. So you can cut him off, but Kobe Bryant can't? You, and again, you don't know what the fuck Kobe Bryant tried to do. You don't know if Kobe tried to get, first of all, at the end of the day, the truth of the matter is, this is a business. I don't know too many people that are going to hire a crackhead. That's what it comes down to. Lamar is on drugs. Master P, would you hire somebody who was on drugs? So why should Kobe stick his neck out and risk his reputation and risk his pull that he may or may not have for the Lakers or the NBA for somebody who's probably going to act a motherfucking fool anyways? I don't understand it. I just don't understand it. I'm not sticking my neck out for anybody who I don't think is going to do well. I'm just not. Especially a, a, a drug addict. I'm just not. I don't blame I don't blame, I blame Kobe Bryant at all for if he did not. I don't blame Kobe Bryant at all if he did not help Kobe Bryant. That's not his responsibility, bitch. That's a grown-ass man. He should help his own motherfucking self. Chloe is at that hospital because she loves that man. The Kardashians are at the hospital because they love Chloe and they care about Lamar. And if you actually cared about Lamar, you would be at that hospital too. There's no way in fuck shit hell you can sit here and know somebody for 15 motherfucking years and they get rushed to the hospital and you don't even go check on them. Now again, it's not your responsibility to make sure he gets off drugs. Because at the end of the day, girl, we I don't know if y'all know crackheads, but I know a couple of them. And that is some, that's some real shit. Can nobody make somebody get off drugs unless they want to get off drugs? But I'm gonna tell you right now, if I was in the hospital and I knew somebody for 15 years and they didn't and they didn't come and check on me and I end up making it through my ordeal, then I would feel some type of way like damn, like nigga, I know I was a crackhead and I know I was on that shit, but you can come check on the bitch? Like, damn. Like the only way I could see somebody not Master P not visiting Lamar is if they fell out over some real, like, real shit. Like, I don't fuck with that nigga. I stopped fucking with that nigga four years ago. You know, I will send word through his family or to his family. Like, hey, I hope Lamar is doing fine. I'm going to pray for you guys. But I don't fuck with that nigga. I'm not going to the hospital. But I'm going to pray for him from a distance. I can see that. But Lamar and Master P didn't fall out for any real reason except the fact that he's on drugs. I mean, damn. You can sit here and do interviews and write letters, but you can't go see this nigga. Baby, when I say that's fake and... Baby, that's the new reel in 2015. The new reel is being fake and phony. 